Edwards right now. She's a little scruffy. We want to keep her this fluffy. Look at her little collar. It's pink rhinestones. I'm here with Seb. Say hello, baby. What's up? Shout out to Posh Wash. You can't really see it, but this is in Huntington Beach. But we're at Target now. We're at this really nice looking Target too. Like, look at it. We're gonna go get Starbucks and we're gonna go to Target. We're gonna look for a new rug. Maybe buy a new rug. So we don't even have a rug right now in our house. Um, oh my God, I'm gonna show you guys the star thing that I got too. I'm gonna show you guys the oh. best Christmas present. And then we're gonna go to Fry's Electronics because Seb wants to look for probably a TV. Is that what it is? No, well yes, and maybe a little bit of other stuff. <laughs> Okay, so we got our coffees. It's a little different this time. They were out of everything. So the guy said that they were out of like every coffee because of the holidays and he was really apologetic and I felt so bad. We were like, oh no, it's fine. Millennials be like, and then I thought about the girl at the cookies with McDonald's. Anyway, so we're looking at rugs right now. We should have brought Callie. Callie needs to approve. I know, Callie needs to approve. I like that. That's actually nice. I like this one too. I really like this one too. Look how freaking cute this is. I need it. I want it. So we're leaving Target. We didn't get anything. We didn't get a rug. And I looked for my fleece lined leggings. I looked for them in black because I want to wear them to the New Year's Eve rave countdown and I couldn't find them. So I'm going to go check another Target soon. But these leggings are amazing. I think they're by the brand like Wander or something. Is that what it said? Wander Wanderer. Hatties. Wanderer Hatati, something weird, but it's like the most comfortable leggings. It's just like lined with super soft, like slightly fuzzy fabric. You need them in your life. So I'm gonna try to go get those and be so warm this year at Countdown because it's always freezing there. Last year and the year before were like probably the coldest I've ever been in my life. I'm just trying to find a good place for lighting. We're in Fry's Electronics now. I love the way that they have everything decorated. It's so cool in here. Oh, how, why? But like, we need this. Everybody needs this. I'm shook. Guys, it literally feels like you're racing. PlayStation, such a blast from the past. My PlayStation 2 was everything. Oh my god, am I starting? Okay guys, so, it's lit. I haven't filmed in like a hot minute and we haven't filmed together in a really long time. So Sebastian, if you guys don't know who he is, which I'm pretty sure you probably do because I do post to If you don't, lot. it's okay. It's fine. You know, he'll forgive you, but we are going to do a little Q&A. So we've never done this and I was going to make it like its own video, but this is just going to probably be like the biggest part of the vlog. So I had you guys ask us questions on like Instagram and ask us questions about like being a couple, I guess, and like what it's like to live together, especially. Obviously, we met in a very interesting way. So people like to know about that and like get curious and stuff. So we're just going to talk about all the questions that you guys asked us. Asking all them questions. Sorry, my hair Asking looks. all them questions. Why are you asking all them questions? Make Making statements. Assuming. 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 Wait, do you remember oh, Ask outfit. FM? Uh, yeah. Is this just like a drive with Liv and Seb? We should make those. I'm gonna buy you a mount so you can you can start doing drive with me's. That would be so fun. That would have been such a good gift. Well, now I know. Okay. Do either of you ever need your own space? If so, how do you take time for yourself when living together? So for me, I do need my own space. I've always needed my own space. I need my alone time. I need my time to do my work. But I get that alone time a lot. I feel like I get more alone time than you do because he goes to work and I stay home and like enjoy the house and like my <laughs> puppy and stuff. But I feel like his only alone time is like at work. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was gonna say is like I don't get a lot of alone time like technical alone time like where I come home And I'm not having to go to work and be alone, but I do get my alone time I guess at work and then but uh, you deserve a lot. I mean time sometimes like too. I guess after we spend a lot of time together We'll like get at each other's throats and then we like have our alone time you know, like, <laughs> Because we're like fighting. No, I don't really I don't know it's sometimes. But I love, like, I want to spend every other moment with him. I just yeah. need a little bit to, like, get my work done and, like, focus and stuff because it's hard for me to film videos in front of people, but... I'm a distraction. That's you're a, big, distraction. a big part of it. With work? Like, yeah, you're... Oh, like my God, he'll work, be like, look so, at this, look yeah, at this. Yeah, exactly. And I'm, like, so, like, work. she'll be like, we gotta, we gotta film a video and then I'll get her to play, like, Resident Evil for, like, three hours. Oh, but it's so fun. Yeah, <laughs> I, like, love it. Is it an easier relationship if you live together? Yes and no. Yes and no. From the start, because we literally moved in, like, right when we met... I don't know how to answer that question. Is it an it's easier relationship easier. when you move in? It's a little <clears> easier like because you don't have to worry about like trust issues and stuff. That's that's why I said yes. But I mean at the same time like it's a big not like I wouldn't say really commitment but like a big journey transition change like you go from doing for yourself yeah. and only for yourself or like your family or whatever whoever you live with to doing and providing and acting with like another person. So like you can't I would say it's been like so smooth though yeah. living together. 
our house is pretty freaking messy because of this one and then I just like can't clean it all and I just That's like not true. let it that go so and it's terrible. That is true. That is so not true. My house used to be so clean Some before I met him. Ice yes, coffee I do. in the glass. Ice coffee in the like, glass. That's like his only this argument. Much and doesn't wash it out. It's like how wash the fucking ice well, coffee Well, because there's out. dishes in the sink and you always tell me not to put the coffee in the sink. So I'm like, okay, and then there's too much in the sink, so I just leave it there for you to do it. Okay. It's crazy. Anyways, yes and no. Did we even answer that question? I don't even know. To answer the question, it's easy if you're mature. So this question says, what is it like living together from pretty much like the first day that we met? Hi. Oh my God. Are you going? I'm like, I showed up, showed up like to it. her house with my bags packed up. <laughs> it's like, nice to meet you. I'm moving in. So if you guys don't know, let's just give you a little backstory. We met on Omegle, which actually a lot of you guys know. So we met on Omegle because we both had EDC typed in as like a common interest trying to find people going to EDC that year, which was 217. And we both happened to have it typed in like the one night we were both randomly on it. So we started talking and he kind of pursued me more and I was just kind of like, eh. And then, um, <laughs> not because I know what that I sounds want. so mean. He knows what he wants. I didn't at the time. And so we had already planned like, okay, he's coming to EDC with our group and we hung out for the first time and I thought he wasn't gonna call me back and then he did which that was stupid because you were always into me like you were always in it and I love it why did I think you weren't gonna call me back I don't know I don't know I thought you were super adorable <laughs> and then we went to EDC together and that's pretty much when we fell in love we went to EDC and that's like when I was like yeah okay I think I want him he's he's a good guy he's always there for me he's persistent and I was like hell yeah <laughs> I brought a hooker a stripper to okay, the fucking room terrible. and I went down to like smoke weed because we weren't allowed to smoke in the uh, in the hotel room so I, like brought my piece and I was smoking downstairs and then like this lady was smoking a cigarette and she was like do you have any more I was like yeah like let me go get some more and so she just came with me and then like I didn't even know them at the time he's just so, so innocent <laughs> like we, we were all like me Chase and Allie were like the fuck like yeah, it's like some random fucking girl. random like 35 year old lady but like, Seb just like yeah come with me and then pretty much like right when we got back from EDC me and Allie were sick and Seb took care of us and that also solidified how much that yeah I like I was supposed to go home and then like I like just ended up staying taking care of them yeah, taking care of them like my aunt was us. like when are you like when are you coming home I was just like I can't like I have to take care of them right it now. was so sweet oh my god my camera's dying no no so yeah that's basically it and then we moved in <coughs> it's like what's a it like living with together? your best friend yeah it's like, like at first you're like wow like we really moved in even now it's just like I still find myself thinking like dude this is awesome like I get to wake up and do everything like together Our everything so you do like is for the benefit of one another sure like like, she'll go buy her makeup and I'll go and buy a new like fucking whatever right for myself a new game yeah, at the end of the day like you come together like oh like let's have yeah. steak tonight oh yeah, let's go dinners. and get like He's an amazing cook <laughs> yeah like amazing. we just do stuff for each other like she's good with the money we've grown a lot with each other we've grown together it's not like a significant difference in personality or like anything weird or like different interests I honestly feel like we're the same person we're basically telepathic we can like read each other's minds now and we say the same things all the time like it's weird like, like we'll, we'll, be thinking, we'll say something and and then we'll be like, what? How we, did you I was know? just, yeah, like, it's crazy. <laughs> we have a dog together now. We have Callie, who you guys saw, she's getting groomed. She's so getting we'll groomed show right you. now. She's gonna be ready for pickup in like <clears throat> oh, 24 minutes. Yeah, so love her to death. Anyways, living with each other is great. So I would suggest it as long as you guys are like ready. ready I mean, we yeah, moved in right away ready. though. Like, it's so crazy. But it was just like a connection where we were like, yeah, we're gonna do fine, like living together. I wouldn't have just let anybody move in like that. Yeah, it was, it wasn't like, okay, like, can I move in now? It was more so like I'd come over yeah. and like spent the night and like taking care of them so much and like, it just happened. It would just kind of happen. It was like, didn't even talk like about I it. had so much of my clothes, like from just like EDC and like, sleeping over and stuff. He it was just yeah. like, okay, let me just bring the rest of my shit yeah. over. He also lived an hour away, which is another part of the story. He would drive consistently an hour there, an hour back, like, every day. So that's another reason why, okay, he's literally wasting so much gas. Like he has and a job a V8, up there. a V fucking eight. Crown Vic, yeah. bitch. I'm I think scared. it started because you were going to get um, a job. We wanted you to get a job down in Orange County so that it made more sense. Yeah, because I was, was working like, at Juicy Wings, and then I tried to get the job at Alexander's. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I just was like, fuck it. Like, let's get a job in OC. Unless it was my he first job. by the beach. Oh, my God. Got I a remember super nice luxury serving job, fine dining. It's just, yeah, it's been good. I feel like we've learned a lot. We've grown a lot. 
<laughs> like he was 19 and I was 21 and now I'm 24 and he's 22. That's crazy. That's We're going on three years in June. So we have got together in June 2017 and June 2020 will be our three years. Biggest pet peeve about each other. His messiness for sure and his he says he's gonna do something a lot okay. of times and he won't. Like, okay. oh yeah, I'll do the dishes. Like, yeah, I know this one. I got I got the answer. He'll just promise me things like, oh, I'll do the dishes. Oh, I'll, I'll clean this. Especially with cleaning. He promises to clean. And, I will admit and, that, uh, yes. And I'm just like, okay. And then he doesn't do it. And other promises like he keeps but like ones of him doing any like chores, absolutely not. I'll leave, I'll leave for the day for work and I'll be like, don't worry, like we'll take care of this like when yeah. I get home. And, and then when I get home, like just He's something tired. happens somewhere along the day, like that is out of the question. I'll, I'll, I'll admit that, I gotta be better about that. But I guess What's pet mine? peeve for you I wanna know. would be Before it like okay, not listening to me. I'll tell her something like just out of like- My mom says that for, too. For like the goodness, like and just looking out for her, like to make her life easier, she won't listen to me. And like what I'll say to like prevent her from happening, like happens. And then she'll be like, like the Pikachu meme, you know? Okay, that's true. <laughs> and then I'm like, well, I fucking told you, you know? What is your love language? I'm trying to do this quick because it's gonna shut off. Mine is definitely, I don't know. What are the love languages? I definitely touch, which he's very good at. He's very like touchy and like lovey and cuddly. My love language is- <laughs> I'm sorry, like, I'm kidding. What he said, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, babe, what's your love okay. language? Um, I guess, I don't know. I, I would say like, I like touch. I like also just like, Security just like knowing yeah, you know just thing. like do you guys go half and half with rent and expenses? Yes. Yes Was it hard living together at first? Um, no So I never showed you guys Callie after getting groomed <laughs> Look how cute she is. She looks like a little grandpa Callie I'm in love with this little thing in love her name is Callie Mae Jr. <laughs> really, Callie? Really? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, guys, so this is a Christmas gift that I got. It's a, like, galaxy, basically, like a space light, and it's moving. So it moves. It's like the stars. It's so freaking cool. TV's right there. Look at this mood light. It's just incredible. Like, imagine this after a rave. So I had to share this with you guys because it's honestly the coolest thing I've ever gotten. It was, like, $50. Like, any of you can get it. It's on Amazon. I had to show you guys that. Um, I cut this video a little bit short. I'm going to do another Q&A with Seb soon. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I love you so freaking much.